I'm here at the 2010 ITP Spring Art Show that mixes technology and art. So let's go take a look. What's, what's the idea behind these things, these shoes? So I was always the shortest kid in class and I decided to come up with a solution and change my life. So I designed these elevator shoes that are controlled with an iPhone application, which I call the iPhone app. And basically I can uh, just press a button here, whoop, and they lift me up. <laughs> How heavy are these? Because they look like they're pretty yeah. sturdy. It was the first prototype, so I a little bit oversized it. Hopefully the next prototype I can do it more compact and light. Have there been any mishaps or accidents with these shoes? Um, not yet, but I'm expecting some, yeah. <laughs> Out of all of the projects I've seen here today, this one seems a little more whimsical. It's called IKEA Robotics. What is it exactly? It's a it's a study of dynamic environments, um, and I use IKEA furniture because everybody has it. It's sort of bland and kind of lacking its own character. I also notice a lot of people throw this away. I live in uh, Park Slope, and you see I've seen like three of these tables on the streets. So I decided to do a project where I would repurpose it and give it a new life as uh, living furniture. So I've taken a, a table and a chair and I've given them some basic behaviors. What are the basic behaviors? I give it one where it was it acted timidly so if you came close to it it would back up or the table was was needy and it would come to you but if you didn't give it attention it would back away. So this is called My Cloud and it's an installation that allows you to control a cloud above you and there are nine sensors inside the pillow that allow you to, to apply pressure to cloud based on how you're hugging it. And it's a slow response. It's something designed to relax you and be soothing, something that you can kind of get lost in for almost a half an hour. Everyone can relate that experience when they're a kid and they look up at the clouds on a hill and they want to have a tangible relationship with it. We wanted to try and explore that aspect of like what's so relaxing about looking at this cloud and what what evokes your imagination from clouds. I see some really cool visualizations back here and you're wearing a biker's hat. So how does that tie into your project? So um, I'm a cyclist and often when I train for racing I like to record my roots and I like to record how hard I pedaled and where I've gone. So it's this concept of self-quantification. But I wondered, you know, what apart from training for a race am I going through? What am I experiencing when I'm just riding a bike to commute, to go to work, to come to school? But more importantly, I wondered, what do other people experience? And how could we then come to maybe an understanding by sharing our experiences through the city? So the application that I developed, it's called Mobile Logger. You turn it on, it then starts recording your location from the GPS. It records sound levels from the microphone. It records the roughness in the road. And from there, I start to plot on a map where people have ridden, where I have ridden. I measure how far people go, what times they ride, and we can start you know, looking for you know, commonality in that. Thing. So the visualization we have here, it's kind of you know, just an, an aesthetic approach at trying to you know, make the data set that I talked about before you know, look, look a different way. So how do you think this will be used in something like urban planning in the future? You can maybe, with a large enough data set, say, why are people not using the 8th Avenue bike line? We put it there. Are they using an alternative route? So, I mean, if you have enough data and you know kind of what the data is when you go into it, absolutely. Maybe it can be used by transportation alternatives to help try to inform, you know, route planning or, or greenway planning and things like that. As you can see, there were lots of interesting projects here today, and if you'd like to learn more, you can check out their websites that we've listed. I'm Ellie Roundtree, and this has been Rockaboom Tech.